Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Everything A-OK, Dr. Stamp. Ultrascope fully extended. Good, Professor. Now I'll activate the screen. Oh, wonderful sight. The most powerful ultrascope in the universe. I did. Better switch on the remote TV cameras. <laughs> Just think of it. Professor Maddock and Dr. Stamp, stars of the interplanetary television network. Oh, frankly, I deplore television. <laughs> You're just camera shy, that's all. century of television. As you know, this is Universal Astronomic Year 2062, a year for which there's been endless preparations by scientists throughout the entire universe. Every member planet of the Neutral Planet Scientific Organization has contributed to this year of discovery. Planets hitherto uncharted and unknown to the people of our universe will be revealed in all their magnificence and splendor by the miracle of the new ultrascope. This latest space probe can delve into really, the Really, you laziness, Zoom, this is no time to go to sleep. Television always sends him to sleep, and in the case of a good many programs these days, I can't say I blame him. I don't agree at all, Steve. I think the programs are of an amazingly high standard. <laughs> you can't be serious, Venus. All these canned programs from Mars... And... Just because you only enjoy endless telecasts of interplanetary ball games. Ah, quit arguing, you two. We're going over to the observatory any second. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Over to the IAC Space Observatory and the man in charge of the whole program, Professor Matthew Maddock. Suffering space cats, not a breakdown. No, no. Look, Commander, Steve. The picture, it's coming through. Howdy, folks. Hush, Stoony. This is uh, Professor Maddock in the Interplanetary uh, Astronomers uh, Committee uh, Space Observatory uh, <coughs> uh, number one. Uh, with me is Dr. Stamp, the well-known expert for the equipment in this observatory. 
Uh, the important thing to watch, uh, as far as the viewers are concerned, is this uh, screen. Uh, it is on this that we shall all see the first pictures that the powerful new ultrascope uh, picks up. <coughs> uh, that's all, and uh, now do business. Uh, all A-OK, uh, Dr. Stamp? All A-OK, -okay, Professor. I think magic is very telegenic, don't you, Steve? He'll be topping the bill on the Saturn Sunday Night Spectacular after this. Oh, quiet, please, Colonel. It looks damn but something's coming through. It can't be. It is. The perfect planet, Newtopia. Never been seen before by eyes from our universe. Let's take a closer look, can we? Of course. The ultrascope still has plenty of power in reserve. And uh, there you see, uh, my uh, friends, uh, the first view of what is reputed to be the most beautiful planet in any universe. Newtopia. This is wonderful. That yeah, sure looks good. Yeah, too good to be true. <laughs> to look upon the perfect planet of Newtopia. Turn on the ultrascope, Perfectos. Whoever it is, they must be destroyed. Look, an ultrascope, scanning the sky like a room. from a space sphere. They must not be allowed to return to Earth to divulge their secret. Newtopia and its secrets must remain unknown to the rest of the universes. Project Protectory. Venus, Commander, come on. Something's gone wrong up there. Okay, let's go. Come on, Venus. We regret that we've temporarily lost touch with the Space Observatory due to circumstances beyond our control. We hope to resume our program soon. Meanwhile, we'll show you a short film. <laughs> Maybe it was just a breakdown in the TV link, Steve. No, that was no ordinary breakdown. Matt and Dr. Stamp are in trouble. We've got to get up there and help them, but fast. Hold tight, Commander. Take it easy, Steve, or we won't ever get as far as Space City. The Earth spies. They are quite senseless. Do we leave them there or bring them back? Bring them back and destroy them, and with them, any knowledge of Newtopia. Activate the travel transmitter. All systems, go, go, go. All checks here are go. Take it easy, Steve.
return journey. A return journey for four. Very convenient, being able to travel through space without being seen. No doubt the Earth people will try to effect a rescue, but by the time they arrive, we shall be back on Utopia with our prisoners. No one who looks upon Utopia must ever be allowed to survive. So, this is the Earth spy machine. Hmm. Very primitive. But uh, a menace to our perfect privacy, nevertheless. The inside isn't much, either. Very primitive. Quite a smooth journey. Very. Now for the return trip. With the Earthmen. <laughs> How are you making out with that course, Venus? According to my calculations, I think you should hold course 1860 red. Robert, course 1860 red. Course 1860 red. If only we could go faster. I couldn't have navigated better. Thanks a lot, Steve. Parking in free float. We'll leave Robert on board while you and I take a look around, Venus. When shall we put the Earth intruders in the destructor? All in good time, Perfectos. Let us observe them first. We gain valuable information for the future from these specimens. It's a long time since we had such interesting specimens to observe. <laughs> like a couple of helpless space fish. Let's switch on the audio and listen in for a moment. Now, now, don't worry, Stan. Steve will be on his way soon. I'm sure. I admire your optimism. As soon as we went off the air, Steve will have been on his way to the Space Observatory to investigate. Hmm. Most interesting. Sounds as though we may have another specimen to pick up soon. But, Professor, what chance is Steve Zodiac against beings with such advanced knowledge as these Newtopians? Well, I... I don't know. But Steve has got us out of worse jams than this before. This time, I think Zodiac has met his match. Stick close and take it easy, Venus. We don't know what's going on inside that space observatory. Okay, Steve. sign of anyone or anything. Let's take a look inside. Steve's walking right into a trap. Shall I transmit the stunner ray? No. Let us toy with them a little first. They've just disappeared into outer space. No. Not disappeared. Not yet, Steve Zodiac. Your fellow Earth creatures are quite safe, so far. And who, may I ask, are you? I am Privator, guardian of Newtopia. What do you want with us? That 
you will see Steve Zodiac. Look over there. Uh, the cube. Like a sort of tribal transmitter. So that's how they got us here. are two specimens. I look forward to your joining them very soon. What harm have they done you? What harm have any of us done you? You have dared to look upon the forbidden planet, our planet Newtopia. It holds many secrets, secrets that we have guarded for many light years. Ours is a perfect planet, and we must guard our perfection. Quick, Venus, do not make a break for Fireball. Earth. Get a message to Commander Zero. I'll keep him talking so on this thing. It'll be a long time before any Newtopians can get here. Do do so. But you don't understand. Earth is a friendly planet. It would not be friendly for long if you Earth people discovered our secret. The secret of eternal life. You would want to share it with us. I shouldn't come any further, Earth woman. <laughs> get out of here, Professor. Welcome to Newtopia, Colonel Zodiac. And uh, if I may say so, to your beautiful Earth woman, Colonel Zodiac can go in the tank with the other Earth specimens. And the Earth woman? I have other plans for her. You lay a finger on her and I... You'll I'll... do what? I don't think you are in a position to do anything, Colonel Zodiac. Don't worry. We will treat her with the utmost respect. One false move from Zodiac, and we can destroy the Earth Woman and the Destructor. Just like that. But you wouldn't. Oh, but of course. She's only a woman. Don't say you're actually attracted to her. No, of course not. Never forget, Perfectus, that it was the Newtopian women that nearly destroyed our planet. That is why we had to rid ourselves of all females of the species, so that we could take advantage of the privilege of eternal life on a perfect planet. You have no need to remind me. I hope not. I shall go to get some rest now. You keep watch. I'll relieve you in a few hours. Any word from Zodiac yet? None, sir. You and I are going to take a look at that space observatory, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Afraid, Earth Woman. I only want to help you. Help me? Yes, help you. I will arrange for your Earth men to escape if. If what? If you will stay here as my eternal companion. Never. Think again, Earth Woman. If you refuse, you will be destroyed together with your friends. Professor Matic, Dr. Stamp, and Steve Zodiac. It seems I do not have much choice. No choice at all. This is your last chance. Do you agree? <laughs>
Earth woman. Earth woman. Oh. Do not be afraid, Earth woman. I want only to help you. Help me? Yes, help you. I will arrange for your Earthmen to escape if... If what? If you will stay here as my eternal companion. Never. Think again, Earth woman. If you refuse, you will be destroyed. Together with your friends, Professor Matic, Dr. Stab, and Steve Zodiac. It seems I do not have much choice. The Earth Woman is mine. Yours? Yes, mine. She agreed. You know what this means, don't you? Yes. At Joel, the first duel on Utopia for a thousand years. And all because of an Earth Woman. Hold tight, Lieutenant. tricks. The Earth Woman is still in the Destructor. One false move and the automatic setting will destroy her. This may be an affair of Newtopian honor, but we will destroy her if any of you try anything. Now choose your weapons, gentlemen. Well, I think this is the oddest situation I've ever been in. I feel I'm about to wake up any moment. When I drop my hand, I want you to take 25 paces, turn, and fire. We haven't much time. They both did. Only stun, Professor. You see, I substituted the stunning capsules for the death cartridges. Look. They'll be coming around soon. So let's go. Look. The space observatory. And fireball. The uh, dial should be set to get us back to the observatory. Here goes. sign of them. If only this robot could talk. Bonging in a brief load. Bonging in a brief load. I wonder whether I should have switched off the dials on that machine before we left. It's too late now, Matt. If only we knew where Steve was heading. What the jumping space cats! Instant travel, through the courtesy of the Newtopian travel machine. There, you see, we've still got a picture of it. I sure wish I had time to figure out the principle of it. Hey, say, Steve, there's smoke coming from the base of the travel machine. I wonder whether I should have switched off those dials. The Earth people have escaped. They must have used the travel machine. Quickly, Private. They haven't switched off the dials. <laughs> As I thought, I should have switched off those dials. <laughs> together, compass of the sky, my heart would be a fireball, a fireball, every time I gazed into your sky. 
starry eyes We take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball 